Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Hi, babes. Hi, sunnies. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then welcome to my channel. It's David and Gamer in the video for y'all. So. If you haven't read that title already, it's another maintenance vlog. Whenever I come on camera looking crazy, I just feel like you already know it's a maintenance vlog. So first things first, I'm trying to dye my hair. Like, I need to dye my hair so that I can do my hair. So we're going to do that. This is the dye that I be using. It's jet black. I always feel like freshly jet black hair is like always the answer. Especially when you're um, getting a silk press and I'm like debating if I want to go get my hair um, blown out real quick or do I just want to like do something for the week and then start like next week if that makes sense I don't know so yeah first things first I'm gonna dye my hair and then decide what I'm gonna do to my hair because I'm just like I don't know what hairstyle I want and it's a lot so yeah I'm gonna tackle that but we do have on the agenda a nail appointment later tonight so these were my birthday nails. You guys already know I've had them on for pretty much the whole month of November, pretty much. So it's time to get something else. So we're going to go see my girl Mookie. Go see my girl Mookie. But yeah, she gonna do my nails tonight. And then being that my girl Mookie do like late night appointments, eight o'clock, like who you know doing nails at 8 p.m.? I, I don't really know anybody that do nails that late, but like I love the fact that I found her and I just think it was kind of like, fate i guess in a way but yeah let's go ahead and dye this hair um because that's just what i need to be doing right now like it's so much going on in life at the moment it's a lot but i'm just trying to do like one task at a time but like my mind is so clouded right now because i just feel like i have a million and one things to do and then they're all in like different categories it's like school stuff work stuff house stuff adulting stuff like it's just so many different youtube stuff contents like it's just a lot like everything's a lot right now so yeah let's go ahead and dye this hair i just want freshly freshly dyed jet black hair i just feel like over time because i had red hair i guess before i went black it'd be peeking out and i don't know i don't like it so we're gonna dye it and then i don't know if i'm gonna do it myself or go to the dominicans and let them blow it out i don't know Just three little steps, so easy, so simple. And I bet not get this stuff everywhere because I'm real good for getting black dye everywhere. I don't know why, but it just be happening. Do you guys feel like it's true that once you go like jet black, you don't want any other color? Because I feel like once I went jet black, I literally don't want any color. Honey Blonde used to be like my favorite hair color ever. Like the color Beyonce wears used to be my favorite hair color ever in life. But now, I don't know, like whenever I put color on my head, I just be like, no, like, no, just black. So I just feel like once you go jet black, you can never go back. Like. And then you just gotta keep shaking it up until it turns like black. You see how this one's clear and this one's black. Keep shaking it and it's gonna change. Make sure you wear a black shirt. I used to put a trash bag over, I don't know if I should do that today, but a trash bag to make sure that it's not getting everywhere. Cause my hair is kind of long. So when I put the dye on it, it just be like laying on my clothes. So maybe I should do that. I'm going to get the trash bag, y'all. All right, so this is the trash bag and what we're gonna do, so ghetto. But it's effective, like I don't have time to be getting this stuff everywhere because I don't want to clean it. And if I mess it up, I have to clean it because this is my house. We're gonna cut out a little area for the neck and the head. So we got the little area for the neck and the head and then we're gonna do the arm holes, which is over here. All right, something like this. It's not even symmetrical, but it don't matter. So now, we're just gonna try to put everything where it's supposed to go. So head first. Oh, 
arm. And then another arm. So yeah, something like that. It look crazy, but it's to protect um, everything. Okay, now that we got the gloves on, it's time to get down to business. I'm very nervous and kind of scared a little bit because I really just don't want to get this everywhere. I think you're supposed to like section your hair, but if y'all know me, if y'all have been here, I don't do anything by like the instructions for real. Like, it just is what it is. I'm just gonna put the dye on the hair. And then I just try to like work it through to make sure it's getting all the strands. Are we so excited for Christmas? Yeah? Honestly, I don't know how I feel about the um, holiday times. I mean, as you get older, obviously it doesn't hit the same, but I just feel like I don't know where the time has gone, but I'm still like in September. Honestly, I really just feel like I just dressed up for Halloween and then Halloween was such a blur to me, like I couldn't really grasp that it was Halloween. Like I participated and I was there, but like mentally, I was still back in September. Like this year has gone by too fast. Everything is just going by way too fast. Like we just had a whole Thanksgiving. I didn't even know Thanksgiving was about to be Thanksgiving until two days prior to Thanksgiving, if that makes sense. Like it's just been a whirlwind and I literally cannot keep up. I cannot keep up. I'm still trying to catch up y'all. Like it's about to be a whole 2024 and I'm just like, what was even 2023? What was it? What was it? Cause I don't know. Y'all know what hairstyle I really, really, really want. I really want a bun and some Chinese bangs. Like I really, really, really want that right now. And I cannot find somebody to do it. And I know you may be thinking like, oh, that seems kind of simple. Why can't you find somebody to do it? I don't know if it's because like the girls deem that is like too ghetto and you know, we be classy now and we soft girl life and we, we not ghetto no more or whatever. But it's just like, why I can't get me some track bangs in the front and then a cute bun? But like the girls is not doing that. They doing like the bangs that come in the front or like the feather bangs. They not really doing like black china bangs. You feel me? They're not doing that no more. I guess it's too ghetto for them. I don't know. But that's the hairstyle I want. And I can't find anybody that does that. And the thing about me, if you don't have a picture on your page of the hairstyle that I want, then like I'm not booking you. You feel you feel what I'm saying? Like I need to be able to see that you can do it. Like I need to be able to see that, not just let me ask you and yeah. Sometimes I'll take a chance, but nine times out of ten, I gotta be able to see, like see and envision the hairstyle that I want on your page, like your work, the way that you do it. Like, yeah. Yeah, I just feel like that prevents a lot of um like what I wanted versus what I got situations because people will tell you that they can do something and they be trying to figure it out on your head. And I'm not the test dummy, babe. Like, let's not play in my head. Uh, I just feel so much better already. Like, I know y'all can't tell on camera, but it's already making a difference and it's definitely boosting my mood and my ego a little bit to know that my hair is about to be all freshly. Freshly jet black. Yeah, we about to feel cute. And then especially when I get them, get them nails done. <laughs> yeah, we about to feel real cute. I don't know what other maintenance I'm doing after the birthday fiasco of trying to... I got it on my pants, y'all. You know how that just happened. Oh my gosh. But yeah, after the birthday fiasco of booking people and them canceling on me and not sending um, locations and not answering the phone, like all of that, that really has turned me off of services. So I don't know exactly if we're doing any other services in this video, but for sure, hair and nails, for sure. I might do my own lashes. I don't go get my lashes done. I'm just, I'm not, I'm just not into it like that, like that. But if I do ever want like lash extensions, I know how to do them on myself. So yeah, I'm growing like a sensory thing towards lashes. Like I just don't like that feeling on my eyes. Like it's just becoming a thing. And then also for maintenance, like, yeah, we do it for ourselves, but it's just like, I don't have anything planned or I don't have anything like coming up. I feel like you would be more inclined to like, 
get services done if you know you have like a date or outing with your besties or you know what I'm saying like something but it's just like I literally work school work school work school so it's just like what am I really even getting all that cute for it's nice for myself but as long as my hair and my nails done that'd be straight all right, so I know this is probably boring. You guys are probably tired of me talking. I just wanted to chit chat for a little bit with you guys while I dye my hair. Okay, as you can see, the hair is washed and dyed. I did book an appointment for a henna tattoo. I don't know why, but I was just like, if I'm getting my nails done, I don't know. I just want to try a henna tattoo. Like, I just wanted to try it. So I booked an appointment to do that too because I just thought, like, why not? I've never had one and I just thought it looked cute and it was something fun, fun to do. I'm just spraying this black vanilla hydrating leave-in conditioner in it because you know when you dye your hair, it gets like mad dry. So yeah, whenever I decide to do something else, I will pick up the camera again. Okay, y'all, so I'm just now leaving, getting my henna. It's so cute. But why I didn't know that you can't do nothing with your hand for like two hours, y'all. So I had no idea that you really can't do nothing with your fingers for like two, three hours. But in like 30 minutes, I'm going to get my nails done because my nail appointment was already set. So I just don't know how this is about to go. I'm going to tell Mookie to be, you know, careful with this hand, but... Baby, I gotta get these nails done and I feel like it's too late to cancel because the appointment in like 30 minutes. So, <laughs> crazy, but Hannah's done and I feel like I'm not that far from Mookie. So, I'm about to get ready to head over there, but hopefully it dry a little bit more. I was under the dryer, but I don't know, y'all. We'll see. It's mad cute though, and it was mad affordable. Like everybody else I was seeing on Instagram and stuff, they was charging like $50, 60 for this. She only charged me 10, what, 20? I paid $15 deposit, and then it was $10, or $25 total. Pointers in the paddock in my piece. I'm pushing P. Cop no hammers for my P. We don't want no P. Got a spot and cross spot. To the P's. Drop the data, now we plant. Side of P's. She's not a lesbian for peace, she turned pesbian. Push a piece, I'm push a piece. I'm capital P, I write the president, count president. Push a piece, he's on her knees, my banana pee. She let me squeeze. Okay, babes, I'm not exactly sure where I left off on this video, but you guys saw me getting my nails done by Mookie. Yeah, and then I came home, I literally sat on my sofa, and it was the next day. Like, I don't even know what happened. I was so sleepy after that nail appointment. But yeah, let me show you guys the nails. Okay, so these are the nails right here. I don't know if you guys can really see. I'm trying to get the camera to focus, but they look like this. 
they're like baby doll um type of nails it's like pink and white it's real cute so yeah i really love how they came out we really did this set like together um yeah we collabed because i was like i want one nail to be this one nail to be that one nail to be like this so yeah we just um collabed with some different ideas um from pinterest and this is what we came up with they're so cute i'm obsessed and then y'all seen the henna this is the next day it did get messed up very much messed up um getting my nails done but next time i know for sure get the nails done and then get the henna yeah but yeah that's the nails and that's the henna now we got to figure out what to do with all of this i'm finally about to just break down and go to the dominicans and let them just handle it because i thought i was gonna handle it myself and it's just like no i'm not doing it i'm not doing it but yeah i'm about to um detangle my hair i don't want to go just like this because one i feel like they charge you more when they um know that you're natural and it's like i walk in clearly i'm natural so they're gonna charge me more and then two i don't, like i'm not saying the dominican salons do this but i have heard that like women with naturally curly hair they be putting like perm in the conditioner i don't know so it's just like i'm gonna try to um detangle it and just walk in with it like back that way they can't really like tell i mean they're gonna be able to tell but they can't like judge as soon as i walk in you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm going to do that real quick and detangle it and just make it a little bit easier for them all right so i just got done detangling my hair and i just put it all back into this like ponytail but i'm going to not go to the salon today because it took me a little too long to detangle it and i don't want them rushing or i don't want my service to be like rushed if that makes sense so yeah i'm just gonna wait and go tomorrow today i'm gonna rock a little bun like i'm about to go fix it and just make it like a cute little bun instead of this for work but i wanted to show you guys my brush like that's why i came on camera y'all do y'all remember the princess diaries like when she broke the brush my brush is done like in paulo's hands remember you will be you have a thicker hair, but <laughs> like a wolf. Ow. He's all right. <laughs> I was combing out my hair. This is done. It's done. It's done and over with. But I just thought that was so funny because it reminds me of the clip of Mia getting her hair um, combed out and she broke that man calmer brush i forgot which one it was but I think okay so i'm on my way to get my hair done but you already know you gotta stop and get a little drinky drink like a little coffee or something before you get your hair done like it's girl mad like everybody knows that so yeah i'm at dunkin donuts i'm just about to get a small like little iced coffee um yeah and get my hair done finally so i can get some things done like i literally cannot get nothing done until i get my hair done like i've been looking crazy like i've been looking crazy for the last few days i'm sick of it i'm tired so we're going to get the hair done today <laughs> So I'm in front of the salon, but I got my coffee and I got a little sandwich, a croissant sandwich too. So I'm about to eat that real quick because I don't know how long I'm going to be in here and I don't want to be hungry. All right, so it looked like this. I didn't get any protein in it, so yeah. Normally you would have like bacon or like sausage or something, but I didn't want all that. It's all warm. Mm hmm. So I'm gonna do this and then we're gonna go inside. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> okay, so the hair is done. I'm gonna show you guys more at home, but y'all know I love when I get my hair done. Like, yes. And then it grew even more. So it's like a little bit more inches. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. But the hair is done. She slayed and slayed me, baby. She put in work, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I'm about to head home because I have some stuff to do. I really need to edit because, you know, Vlogmas, you got to upload every day. Um, So I need to head home. But 
I am so excited. Now I can get stuff done because my hair is done. Like, what? Okay, so I told y'all I was going to show y'all when I came back home. But the hair is laid in slayed, as you guys can see. The only thing I'm kind of mad about is I didn't know that I needed a cut. She didn't, like, say anything or ask me did I want, um, like, a trim or anything. But I was taking some pictures and I was like, I could really use a trim. So now I got to figure out if I can, like, find somebody to cut my hair. But I really, I don't even know, like, who I trust enough to be doing that. But, yeah, I feel like I need, like, a good trim and it will look, like, more clean and really good. But, yeah, it's cute, though. I love it, of course, compared to what I was working with before. Like, yeah. So this is the vibes for at least, like, a week and a half, I hope. It'll last. Um, but, yeah, I'm loving it. Y'all see how the fresh fresh jet black you know what i'm saying is doing that's why it's important to do like a fresh dye before you go get like a silk press or a blowout but yeah this is what it's giving Rip me out the plastic i've been making brand new i wanted to show you guys my outfit too because it was just so cute i wish i would have um went more places because you know when you get your hair done you're supposed to go like right errands but i don't have time for that today i have like some other stuff that i have to do for vlogmas because vlogmas is like every day babe you gotta every day every day every day so yeah i have some stuff to do inside of the house so i'm not gonna be outside even though i want to be outside i might have found me in the end today you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying there's no telling who i could have ran into today so i'm kind of a little bummed um <laughs> about that but yeah anyway this is the outfit it's like a two-piece from sheen i think i got it like last year um but it's this really cute like brown pleated schoolgirl skirt with this um, long sleeve crop top and it matches on the sleeves and the collar and it's just giving it's so cute i love this it just makes me feel cute and then i have these um long brown boots on too and then later when it gets a little bit colder it's not cold right now i have this cardigan too so if i were to get cold then i can just throw this on and it's so cute you know so yeah those are the vibes that i was feeling today and then let me show you my purse and this is the purse that i was carrying But yeah, I'm about to um, get ready to do my lashes and that'll be the last maintenance thing, I guess. But yeah, I just feel like some cute little lashes will really just make me feel like the baddest, okay? Because nails done. I've been loving the henna, even though it's kind of starting to come off now. Um, but I've been loving the henna and everybody else loves it too. I keep on, they keep on asking me, is it real? Like, no. But yeah, um, and then I love my hair. So yeah, we're starting to, I'm, I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling cute, I must admit, like she's a daddy. But yeah, let me go ahead and start doing my lashes. That should probably take like 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, babe, so I'm about to get ready to do my lashes. And I'm using these right here. This is Kiss New Impression False Lashes. What I really like about these, it's not sponsored. I literally bought this with my own money. But yeah, what I really like about this one in particular is the fact that you don't need any glue or anything. It kind of just is like a press-on lash and you literally, literally can like stick it on there. I'm about to show y'all, but that's why I like these. And last time I had them, it lasted me for like four days before they started to come off. And that's no glue, like just the lash on. So I'm going to put these on and I just feel like I'm about to be a whole new daddy. Like, oh can't wait all right so this is all i'm gonna be using to do my lashes and it's tweezers and i showed you guys the lashes but i wanted to show you that they literally like map it out for y'all um so it's short medium and long so yeah super easy and it doesn't take that long i feel like it takes a long time right this second because i'm filming um so i have to like keep starting and stopping but I don't think it takes that long to really put these on. I'm gonna start with the long one and I'm just gonna try to like gently lift it up with the tweezers like that. And okay, so that's one cluster on. And as you can see, it was just easy. You kind of have to like 
um, place it and then like kind of press it onto your actual lash and then yeah so i'm literally just going to repeat over and over going from long to medium to short <laughs> okay so my at home lashes are done and i think they look cute i wish i knew how to do like bottoms so i'm about to add some mascara to the bottoms because i just feel like that's the look that i want so like a light not really really crazy but kind of like lightly go over the bottom because they just look so bare compared to the top lash <laughs> lashes got the henna tat y'all so yeah babes that pretty much wraps it up for all of my maintenance this go around um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know i'm feeling so much better in comparison than what we started from because baby that was a mess but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn that post notification bell on so the next time i drop a video babe you'll be notified also make sure you follow me on instagram for content thank you for spending vlogmas day three with me and i will see you guys tomorrow for day four love you bye